Some say that when a company uh, says what it is and what, what it inspires to do, it actually gives you uh, the decipher ring, the, the key, to understand how that company thinks. We are, we are a company that has uh, quite a bit of um, work across different elements of, of a network. Uh, on the cloud, as, as many of you know, we do possess quite a, a high market share with our uh, processors. But then, you know, we, we take them and combine them with uh, what we have got out of the uh, acquisition of Nirvana. And by the way, you, you will hear that, you know, some of our um, work in, in this domain has come through organic growth, some of that through acquisitions, quite a big one uh, recently. Uh, so with Nirvana, we, we actually the ability to provide accelerators to, to the data centers goes well hand in hand with our processors. But also, as Ben mentioned, the ability to drive a solution which is not one size that fits all by accompanying those, marrying those with programmable solutions out of the acquisition we made with, with Altera enables our customers to basically tailor those solutions to their needs and drive different applications based on the tools that we provide them. Now, there's data, there's also uh, memory and needs for storage. And, and we are focusing and, and driving uh, with, with quite some effort Solutions for, for storage, which are not just about handling the huge capacity of memory which is needed, but also being able to quickly get the data and, and be able to drive the economics of data and storage of data by technologies such as X.3D. On the other side of that, this equation or this, this view, um, you know, we're quite active uh, with many devices and, and things. Uh, you know, you could look at those uh, as different, you know, applications um, that, that we are part of, gaming, industrial, uh, shopping, uh, all the way to uh, PCs, networks, and, and sensors. And those edge devices, when you look into how you want to drive the data, part of that is capturing that, and, and some of those technologies that we have enable that, and uh, one of them, for example, is RealSense. Uh, 3D cam, but actually a capturing device for data. But also the ability to drive low power um, learning capabilities, and we, we achieve that with uh, Movideos, um, which is now part of Intel. That together with other uh, computer vision capabilities we have, provide the setup on, on the edge. Now, we need also to connect the two. And this is where our networking efforts are focusing on 5G. You know, many look at 5G as the evolution, like, like we had before, going from 2G to 3G to 4G, expanding basically the size of the pipe. Well, we'll get that as well. But what 5G does actually is, in addition to just having a bigger pipe and, and adding Wi-Fi to the mix, it actually drives the ability to, to connect billions of devices, tens of billions of devices, with the level of reliability size of the pipe, and doing that as fast as possible. So that will connect the two sides of, of the network. And all of that, of course, is accompanied by end-to-end -end software tools uh, that we deliver. Well, other than being in Israel and, and me having an Israeli accent, um, I, I want to give you a little bit of a glimpse into uh, uh, what we do here in, in Israel. And probably the best way to, uh, um, to look at that is to look into two clusters of activities that we have. On one hand, we have a set of technologies, uh, capabilities, building blocks. That's where you'll find you know, tons of uh, uh, data scientists and engineers uh, working on things like uh, you know, advanced analytics, uh, DLA training capabilities, real sense. And by the way, you're welcome to see all of that at, at the entrance in the booth we have. Those goes across everything we deliver at Intel, and you, you'll actually find that uh, um, the center of gravity of, at least in advanced analytics at Intel, resides here in, in Israel. But we also look into uh, a couple of verticals um, that we are driving out of, of, uh, of Israel. The first one is uh, sports. A any one of you who have seen any of the major sports events lately, either the classical soccer, uh, Super, Bowl, Super Bowl with uh, uh, American football, 
any of the NBA uh, games, you've seen the ability to drive replays from a point of view which is not where the camera is. And, and where we're going to take it is basically, uh, you know, each and every one of us will be able to experience a sport, sports event by choosing the point of view we wish to have. We can decide to be the goalie in a soccer game. That vertical of sports, which is all about data and all about the intelligence of the data and what you can do with that, is driven out of Israel. It's an acquisition we have made of a company called uh, Replay uh, in Tel Aviv. We also have an empty box, uh, which is in anticipation to uh, uh, closing of, of a deal uh, we have signed and announced of uh, the acquisition of Mobileye. Uh, we expect that um, to be closed, hopefully, by end of the year. And, and Mobileye you know, is synonymous with uh, um, autonomous driving. I, I think the big news for us in Israel is, as announced, all of Intel's autonomous driving uh, activities not just you know, the design or the technology, but also the products uh, and, and the, mar the strategy and the marketing will be driven out of uh, uh, the team of Mobileye. We, we you know, combine that with other teams at Intel, and that will be uh, handled from a location not far away in Har Chutzvim. And, and that will give us the ability to uh, uh, drive a second vertical here in, in Israel uh, around autonomous driving. But you know, look at those verticals as also a way not only to use the, uh, the, those technologies and building blocks that we have, but also while taking those into play within those verticals, also the ability to then propagate them back into other applications and capabilities. You know, our, our philosophy, uh, not just in Israel, but we definitely are, are very focused on that here, is that for us to thrive, we need to have a strong ecosystem around us. So for us, it's not just about you know, being first or being the best at what we do. It's also making sure that we're a part of the strongest ecosystem possible. And, and specifically uh, in Israel, we have made some uh, huge investments, uh, money and, and, and our own efforts and time. And I'm sure you, know, you guys heard the names of some of my colleagues here when it comes to uh, uh, putting together the event today. Uh, we have been uh, working closely, closely with the academia, uh, anything from uh, having our guys um, giving you know, lectures and, and building syllabuses. Um, we, we have made a, an investment of about $15 million um, in, in, in actually in research in the past five years. We're trying to, uh, to help any, you know, government initiatives, uh, anything from Digital Israel that all, all of you know about, to digital health, there was an example of that with Parkinson uh, at the entrance. Today, and that's prior to that box in the previous page, getting uh, its own logo, um, uh, with uh, you know, the closing of the Mobileye acquisition, we, we have today more than 400 uh, data scientists, data engineers, uh, engineers, system guys, in the field of AI. Uh, and, and for us, it was critical uh, to build that, that mass of, of, of skill set and IQ and, and capabilities here, because we, with that critical mass, we can further drive uh, the technology coming out of Israel. And last, you know, uh, we mentioned acquisitions, investments. I, I think today uh, is, is another great example. Um, you know, we hope that this will be, uh, I think Avner said, you know, the best so far, and only a prelude to, to the next one, which will be even better. And thank you for all my colleagues who have uh, been helpful behind the scenes on this one. And I hope you have a great day. Thank you.